Hi, I'm John. And I'm Joe. And we're with SandblastingMachines.com. Today we're going to do a 2 inch pop up valve installation on a Clemco Classic Blast Machine model 1042. For purposes of this video, we've already removed the inspection door assembly, the half inch pipe nipple, and the 2 inch pop up valve. Alright, John. So, for someone with little to no experience with sandblasting machines, I guess the first question is where do I begin? Well, actually, Joe, these machines are very user friendly. Uh, most guys with minimal mechanical skills should have no issues whatsoever working on them. I guess to start, what I would do is try to find myself a, a great supplier like sandblastingmachines.com, uh, some basic tools anybody finds around their garage, and in no time to lap, you can have this baby up and running. Okay, alright, well, let's begin. So here we have our Clemco Classic Glass Machine Model 1042. This particular pop is rated at 125 PSI. The first step in installing the pop-up valve in this machine is to take your pipe nipple and your pop-up valve, two-inch pop-up valve, and insert it into the pipe nipple, making sure that it does slide freely. When you insert it in the machine, you want to keep it at a slight angle uh, okay. so the valve does not fall out of the nipple and falls into the bottom of the pot, you're just going to create more work than uh, you really need to do. And all I need to do is just find the thread to match them up? Yep, just line it up on that 90 degree half inch uh, pipe fitting and your nipple should screw right in. Let's just do a double check, make sure that's, that's sliding. Everything feels good. Alright John, well that seemed pretty easy but uh, the inspection door seems to be a little bit tricky so why don't you uh, hop on in and show me uh, how we exactly do that. Uh, one of the tricks I've learned over the years when reinstalling the inspection door, I like to slide my finger inside the actual latch of the door, we'll then flip it over and carefully insert the door back inside the blast machine. We don't want to drop the door inside because you're going to create yourself some unnecessary work trying to fish it back out. Once you have it lined up, we're going to keep slight tension pulling out on the door so we don't drop it and we're going to then take our latch assembly with the square end of the bolt going in, sliding it over the latch. Slide everything over tight, we're going to line it up, and then snug our nut on the opposite end. Once everything's nice and snug and in place, we'll take our wrench and tighten it up, ensuring a nice tight seal so the blast pot can pressurize. Alright John, well you were in line. As someone with no prior experience assembling a blast machine, we were able to get that pop-up valve and the inspection door installed with just some tools that you can find in your garage. You're right, Joe. I think some of the key things you need, as long as you have the correct tools, uh, trusted supplier like sandblastmachines.com for your replacement parts, pretty much anybody out there can go and uh, make the repairs they need on their blast machine. Right, well, today we showed you how to install a pop-up valve and an inspection door, but that is just one of the many videos we will be creating to show you how to assemble an entire blast machine. So, uh, stay tuned. What's going on, guys? <laughs> the tools required for this installation is a adjustable wrench. And for some of the older... <laughs> All right, John. <clears throat> All right, John. So, for someone with... Jesus. All right, John. Oh, what the hell? Okay. <laughs> Get everything nice and snug, lined up. Ha 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 ha!